Yo guys, what is up? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Nick. If you're new here, we do everything Mark 7 GTI. As you can see, this is my Mark 7. This video is going to be how you can make 400 horsepower on this platform, the Mark 7 GTI. I did a video similar to this about a year ago, but it was how you can make 300 horsepower. My setup was different a year ago. Decided to show you guys what is going on with it now. Without wasting more time, let's head right into the video. Now, if you're familiar with these cars, obviously the most common thing you hear people say is intake downpipe tune intake downpipe tune yes those are the main things um, that you're going to need to do if you want to reach these power numbers there's hundreds of intakes and downpipes that you can choose from while that's true i'm going to dive into the other things that you'll need to make around the 400 mark so first we're going to start with the intake a lot of guys run just the stock intake which is fine with these cars they are pretty restrictive, so I like upgrading it. Um, if you if you aren't a fan of the open of the open box one like this, where the filter is exposed like that, they do make uh, closed systems where there'll be an actual box, but it just won't be as restrictive as the OEM one. Those are good. Those do just as well as these ones. These ones do just as well as the closed ones. But the stock air box and the stock induction system is very restrictive. So I would recommend running an aftermarket one to get more airflow, and a bonus is of course you get you get some cool noises, some cool turbo sounds, stuff like that. After that, like I said, you hear it all the time, downpipe. This is I am running CTS's full turbo back, which means it's a downpipe all the way connected to their exhaust system. So I have CTS intake into their downpipe and their full exhaust that goes straight back i'll show you that later this is a catted setup i do not have the catless one another plus that helps is if you see back there where it says ecs behind this pipe there that is called a turbo inlet pipe uh, it's a bigger it's essentially just a, a bigger size pipe in diameter allows for more airflow ECS, I think on their website, claims you can get up upwards of 10 horsepower from that. But the stock one, just like the intake, the stock turbo uh, inlet pipe is, is also pretty restrictive. It's, it's pretty small. Uh, it doesn't, doesn't allow a lot of air to flow through there. So upgrading it is always good. And it's super cheap. It's like 80 bucks. Super cheap mod, easy to install, and you get some some horsepower that's another one we're up to three so we did the intake we did the downpipe and we did the turbo inlet turbo elbow whatever you want to call it next we are going to talk about cooling i am running a big front mount intercooler this one is a twin setup which means it routes into the stock intercooler on the car as well as this one this setup keeps the temperatures really low yeah i like the idea of using the stock location intercooler and pairing it with uh, a front mount. This is from eBay, believe it or not. It's a great kit. Uh, the, the fitment and everything is great. No issues with like lining it up or anything or the boost pipes not matching up. Everything fits as it should. And it's, it's cheaper than a lot of the kits out there. This is like a $350 kit. I'll make sure to link everything in the video. But cooling on these cars is very, very important. So intake downpipe turbo inlet intercooler you can also just run an upgraded uh, stock location which is behind the grill the one that just sits like this they make upgraded ones of those those are good they all do about the same now if you know cars if you know about this car and if you saw the clip when i was talking about the downpipe you probably paid attention to this right here this is an upgraded turbo this is an is 38 this is a turbo out of the volkswagen golf r it's not the hybrid it's not the is 38 plus it's just the is 38 this was a ecs tuning kit that they sold comes with a nice turbo blanket heat blanket for the hot side and it came with a turbo muffler delete you can't really see it down there but it's down there a super cool kit super good quality this is where you're going to get a lot of your power gains from the bigger turbo while the is 28 is a good turbo it's a great stock turbo but you can max them out pretty quickly intake downpipe 
tunes you know you're you're not pushing it you're getting close to maxing it out and getting all the power out of it so i went ahead i upgraded to the is38 this turbo gives you plenty of power it's great sounds great i didn't want to go bigger than that because this is my daily this is my only car right now and i did not want to risk you know any damage to the motor or anything else because you can damage the motor if you go like a massive turbo a lot of the guys running like vortexes or typhoons or stuff like that vortex xl while it's fun to have a big turbo and make all that power i just rather have something that makes good power fun car to drive it's fast and you don't got to worry about pushing the motor too hard i don't know anybody who's on the stock one making 400 i don't think that's possible if you want to get over like the 350 370 range you're going to need to upgrade your turbo this is where the, the car really gets fun this right here is Cobb's flex fuel kit this is their sensor and how it works is when you are filling up your car with ethanol fuel travels through that line sensor picks up on it and it blends the ethanol with the pump gas and you run a blend. So I'm tuned on E30 with this car, blended with 93 pump, pump gas. Out here in PA, we got 93 and 94. This car is a completely different beast. She is putting down 464 foot pounds of torque was the highest that I hit. So with these cars, you don't get a lot of gains with an exhaust. You know, it looks nice, it sounds good. It's not loud at all because I still have the muffler on which I'm thinking about deleting the muffler. ECS makes a uh, makes a muffler delete kit that'll line up perfectly with this. So if I wanted to delete it, I always have that option. Mainly it's just for sound and looks. So there's a lot of people out there who don't even touch the exhaust because once you put a downpipe on this car, it's plenty of noise, plenty loud enough. And it sounds, it sounds good without, without an exhaust. So it just depends on what you wanna do. Another one that you're gonna need if you're gonna be pushing the car to 400, you need to upgrade your fuel system. You can do what I did, is I did the high pressure fuel pump internals from AutoTech. Uh, this is the high pressure fuel pump here. You just take that apart, you put the internals in, put it back together. You can also order an entire new pump, but it gets pretty pricey. The pump is like, 900 bucks 800 900 bucks it's in between that range whereas the internals were like three and some change 300 and some change so i just did the internals and the biggest most important thing is you're going to make sure that you guys are running a good safe reliable tune from a from a good company i don't know why anyone would do this but you never know so i'm gonna just say it. i'm gonna specify you do not want to run these mods with a car that isn't tuned if you're not tuned, you will damage something. You can blow the motor. That's just the dumbest thing you can do. I can't believe I'm saying that, but some people aren't all there. I am running a Cobb Access port, and I am tuned by a company called Stratified Automotive. I'll leave the link to their website and everything in the description below. That is gonna do it for the video, guys. That is how you can make 400 horsepower on a Mark 7 GTI intake turbo inlet downpipe upgraded turbo some type of flex fuel uh, ethanol blend and a ecu tune if you're running the dsg i'd recommend getting the, the tcu tuned also it's not a lot of work that you got to do but it's a good amount of stuff you got to do to make 400 horsepower and these cars are light so like i said this is my opinion of how you can make 400 horsepower on a Mark 7 GTI, I showed you guys everything that I have done to the car. Let me know if I missed anything. Let me know if you think that I skipped over something. Let me know how you feel about my build list. Thanks for tuning in guys, I appreciate it. And I will catch you in the next one.